To anyone who's been watching my channel for a while, you might know that I'm a big fan of space. One of my main goals for the survival world is to add space into it. Now I've been thinking about this project for a while, and I think there's a lot of cool different ways that I can add space to Minecraft. My original plan was to make something that had a lot of very big builds, much like how Chris DeCow made a whole bunch of cool space stuff in Minecraft. Like seriously, look at these, these are so cool. And I really thought about doing it like this, but there's a pretty big problem with this. See, Chris DeCow used some kind of increased render distance mod, maybe Distant Horizons, but that's a pretty big ask for my players, I think. Not all of them are going to want to have a mod like that. And besides, I kind of just like to have that effect be part of the vanilla game without any mods. So I was looking around for potential ways of doing this, and I found this mod called Cosmic Horizons, which does which does this effect really well. I was watching this trailer and I was like, this looks so cool, I'd very much like to have this effect. One of my favorite games is Outer Wilds, and I, in that game I love the effect of just flying away from a planet and seeing it get smaller and smaller as you get further away from it. And I was, and as I was making my Space Odyssey map, I was using a mod called Nvidium, which and also Axiom, which let me fly away from one of the builds, much like I was leaving a planet. And I thought that was really like a really cool effect something that I decided that I definitely want to have the survival world. I want that effect to be in the survival world. I've got an idea on how I might be able to start doing that, so let's go ahead and start building it. Okay, I'm here in my commands world, my, my testing world, and I've got this little start of an orrery done. Uh, I think this concept was definitely going to work. I quite like how this looks so far. We should go ahead and give it its own world. Okay, so I've got this now. I've got a whole orrery with the sun and a bunch of different planets, and they all orbit each other. You can see, like, the Earth planet has a little moon that follows it. Let's see, over here, we've got uh, what's going to be a black hole stuck in orbit with this. They do orbit each other instead of, unlike the Earth and moon where the moon orbits the Earth, setting it to midnight, and like, yeah, that looks really cool, I like that, but like, that's a little bit of a problem. I can't really retexture the sun if I set it to rain. That should remove the sun, right? It does, it removes the sun and the moon, but no stars. I might try adding some stars in manually with particles. Let me go do that real quick. Okay, here we go. Got some stars with particles. That looks good. You can see that there's some problems like, yeah, that'll be a little bit of a problem. But I think for now, this, this works for the stars. Looks cool. Okay, so I've made a black hole model. It's not perfect. I want to make it to where it actually glows and it doesn't have this like shading on the edges to make it look even more seamless, but I think that's good for now. Let's see. All of these planets are going to get their own custom textures. I'm thinking a planet with rings would look really cool, so let's go ahead and make... I guess this one can have rings. Nice planet with a bunch of rings. really wanted to make it purple. And I really like how this turned out. It can fly up to it and it's big and everything. Also, I forgot to record a clip of me showing it earlier, but I've made... Where is it? There it is. There's rockets. I've made rockets. They don't naturally spawn yet. But I can spawn them in. The animation's not finished yet. I want to have, like, some kind of warp gate um, almost opening up, or, like, a wormhole that they shoot out of. I think that'll be cool. Okay, next I think I'm going to get the sun, because, you know, a block of yellow doesn't look that great. Okay, I've made this model for the sun. It's not perfect, but it will do for now, so let's go ahead and add this into the game. Let's see, 
Oh, that doesn't look right. Hmm, wonder why that's happening. Is it because of all the cubes? Oh yeah, that's a problem with the transparency, it looks like. Let's see what happens if I do this. Hmm. Well, that's starting to work. It doesn't have as many as I'd like. I'm not sure why. Yeah, why is it doing that? Ah, uh, it's not as good as I'd like it. I'm gonna keep working on this texture. This is generally what I'm going for. Oh, I'm gonna keep trying. Okay, I've got this updated model that seems to be working. Uh, I'm not the happiest with it. I think I could improve it. I was hoping to make it a bit more yellow than it is, but I'm gonna keep it for now. And I'll come back to it another time, but I quite like this glow look. I'm really liking how this is turning out so far. Okay, it's a new day, and I've got uh, three new planets done. You can see some of the textures in the background. So the first one I'd like to do is this one. Really happy with the design. It's not quite finished yet, I need to stick stuff on the dark gray spots. I've also got an ice planet. I'm not sure that I like this design, and I don't like it being as big as the gas giant, so even if I keep this design, it'll probably be shrunk down quite a bit. So we've got a completed Earth and Moon now. Really happy with the model for the Earth. And the Moon also looks really cool. It's based off of the actual Minecraft Moon texture. I've got this little island planet over here. I want to add some clouds onto it. I think a hurricane cloud might be cool to have in one corner. But the solar system's almost done. I've got a couple more things to show you. Uh, first of all, the sun's a little bit more yellow now. Probably going to try and make it more yellow in the future, but for now this works. And also, the model for the final planet is done. It's a really warm planet, and I think it kind of shows. I quite like how it turned out. Probably there's still some stuff that I could do to make it look even better, but I think for now, that's the solar system done. So if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!